So the time has come, and the wings are all new. Be here in just a few days, right? So we had to build something to hold it. So what did it take to build this thing? Just a few little nut screws and pieces of wood. And ready to go. So here's our journey building our wing cradle for the RV-14 quick build wings. When Vans let us know that the wings were being shipped to us, they sent us a link with a couple different websites with different plans that we could build a cradle from. We selected the set of plans that used a two by six across the bottom and then carpet to hold the wings in place. So off to Home Depot we go to get all the lumber that we would possibly need because no one ever makes two trips to Home Depot during a project. Time to get the garage set up, get all the tools out. We're gonna be doing a lot of cutting, so let's do it outside of the garage. So using the plans, we start measuring out all the pieces, starting with the two by sixes that we're gonna need. So we cut the two long two by sixes that we need, get those ready to go. Take all the two by fours and there's about several different sets of two by fours that we're gonna need of different lengths. So we just start cutting all of them that we need. The website has a good list of everything that we need. Two by fours that are 28 inches, four of them, 22 inches, two of those, 23 and three fourths, 24 inches, 10 inches and a quarter and 16 inches. So we're just going one by one, cutting all of those that we need. So as we're into the third or fourth set is where I start really looking, wow, we do not have enough two by fours, not even close. We're trying to justify that we have enough wood where we have, but nope, off to Home Depot we go. So when we make it back from Home Depot, got plenty more two by fours. Of course, I wasn't gonna make the same mistake, so made sure we purchased far more than we needed. Now we're cutting the last section of two by four braces. And who comes out to help us but our golden rivet, our now four and a half month old golden retriever puppy. So as long as he stays out of the saw, we're in good shape. And now that we have all the wood cut, it's time to start laying out the base frame. Trying our best to make sure we keep it nice and level and perpendicular to each other by using some of the spacers in between that we already cut. So with the screws, we're gonna first drill a hole and then drive the screws through those holes through both pieces of wood. No brackets, no, no anything else, just screws through the wood. So now we have a strong outer frame. It's currently still upside down right now, but we're gonna keep building from the outside frame in. Now, the builder's best friend, caster wheels that walk. So it's probably the most expensive part of this build on the cradle that we're building is these caster wheels. Uh, there's probably about $50 worth of caster wheels right there. But get those screwed in first as we start really building up the frame. The side that's closest to us right now is going to be where the carpet is that's going to hold the actual wing. The side furthest from us is where the spar is going to lay on. So now we're setting up the, the brackets that will separate the two wings. And we're just drilling the supports in and uh, just trying to figure out how to make it as strong as we can. It's really, this is not one of those projects that you need to be incredibly precise on. It's just gonna hold the wings and make it easier while you, you work on it when you get the, the wings. Our wings are coming to us quick build, so they're gonna slip right into this when we're done. Uh, to be honest, we haven't even looked through all of the plans that we're going to have with the quick build wings to figure out how much we're going to be working on the wings while on the cradle versus us taking the wing and putting it onto our workbench. So we've got a lot of learning to do, but we see that everybody builds cradles like this. Uh, there's several different designs. 
we still don't know if this design's the best or if one of the other designs is better, but we needed something for when our quick build wings show up. So as we put these braces on, what we're doing is about clamping them in place to get them nice and level while we drill the holes and then uh, put the screws through. We're actually countersinking the, the, the screw heads here. So I'm using a slightly bigger drill bit um, after I drill the initial hole to make a hole that the screw will go all the way down in so that when we put the carpet over, the screw doesn't have any chance of scratching our wings. Now we're working on the part of the cradle that's gonna hold the wings bar. This is the uh, single side, so um, no carpet will go here. The wings bar will just lay gently down on top. We may put a small piece of carpet on top of it just to keep the wings bar from being scratched up. When this is done, it's nice and strong, nice and sturdy. It's not gonna go anywhere. And it's on wheels with casters that lock so we can move it around, move our wings around anytime that we want. So we're putting a few extra braces in the center that the planes didn't really call for, but just a little extra strength in the center makes it that much nicer. So now, that we've got it all built, time to clean everything up, blow out all of the sawdust that we created and cart the wings into the garage where we will be ready to build.